Hi, it's so good to be with you today. I know that it's um, really a crazy time for all of us. Um, we've rapidly changed our lives and we're in a new place. <laughs> um, and I wanted just to, hey Jennifer Faye, jump on here and say that in this crazy time, I believe that it's more important than ever for us to come from a place of love and caring for one another, really get back maybe back to what's really important, which um, is loving ourselves first because we cannot share love with anyone else unless we are in here in love with this being, this wonderful, amazing being that we are. And then to go out and um, be in love whenever we show up. Now, we're asked not to show up, but we're, you know, in social distancing now, right? But when you show up on Facebook or wherever you are, or when you, we have to go out there, like, right now, we need toilet paper, right? <laughs> you know, so we're going to have to go out there, but to show up in love rather than fear. Because there is enough fear out there already. And it's time really for us to shift. Hey, Birdie Beer. Hey, Jill. Glad you guys are here. It's time for us to shift from this place of fear that we've been living in, in this focus on, I don't know, like fear, um, hate, <laughs> you know, um, differences. And let's come together and really love each other, love ourselves first, love our families, love our friends, love our communities, and flow out to loving our world because we need to. It's time. The weather is crazy right now. The virus is obviously crazy. And it's time for us to stop doing what we're doing and come from a place of love because we are creatures of love and we've just forgotten. And I want you to remember that you are pure essence of love and get back to that place and share from that place. I don't know, I may be making this up and you might not agree with me, but it seems like we've been in a place of worshiping money and power and that doesn't work. It just destroys. So let's get back to honoring and loving each other. Hey, Amanda, and really taking good care of ourselves. And then from that place of really taking mm, good care of ourselves, going out there in whatever way right now for social distancing, just doing it in whatever social media platforms or making phone calls and telling our friends how much we and families how much we love them or you know donating to really good organizations that are helping get us through this time and I've heard some really amazing stories of you know people giving things away right now and um, like one of the, the women in the uh, lighten up program was talking about these internet companies giving free internet to these kids that are home now instead of at school and it just touches my heart and um, let's find those kind of organizations to support and get behind and let's all get through this and love and just think about how we might come out different if we do that, if we approach this from love versus fear. All right, <laughs> I love you all. and. This week's Ageless Movement practice is all about wonder and curiosity. And if you're not in wonder and curiosity at this time, I don't know what it's gonna take because we live in a place that's always about change. And if you look back in the history, in our history, there's always these epidemics and pandemics and you know, um, we live in this mother nature, so she's bringing us all kinds of wild weather. I, I had just had this retreat here and oh my gosh, the wind. I We had like gale force winds when they came in and it just wasn't like a occasionally a gale would move. It was like, Wah. 
And we had this beautiful, peaceful retreat, all about hugging each other. And then right after that, we weren't <laughs> supposed to hug anymore. Really kind of crazy. And then right as it ended, the gale force winds back. And now it's peaceful again. But wow, I, I hadn't experienced that here before. So the weather is changing too. And what about if we just took care of ourselves first and each other during this time? Like, what would the world look like? Can you imagine? Does anybody have any imaginings out there? Hey, air, air hugs. Yeah, air hugs. I've been doing a lot of namastes, right? Love, love, love. Hey, Charlotte. Glad you're here. Oh, Margie. People are making arrangements here to go grocery shopping for the elderly. I love that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go out and do what we can in love and show up in love. And whenever you get into fear, you have tools. You have tools to release it. So I want to talk about those just a little bit. So you know where your fear muscle is, right? Here in the front of your body. So get on your ball and roll it out. Like really, really work out that fear muscle. In fact, if you have your ball right now, let's do this together because this is one of the best ways that you can take care of yourself and then make sure you're showing up there, out there in love. So just place it beside your hip bone. I'm right beside my right hip bone. And then while we finish talking, just roll back and forth towards your pubic bone and then pack back to the hip bone, back and forth in there, hopefully you can see, and then start to roll down. This is the iliopsoas, and it is the fear muscle, but it's a part of the whole fear system because this muscle goes up and tucks under the ribs, the psoas. So rolling anywhere in there during this time and breathing in love, because this is an energy universe of love, and breathing out ha, which converts your fear ha, to love. And then when you go out there in whatever way you go out there, because I know we're isolating a lot more because we need to be doing that right now, but you will need to go to the grocery store. You will need to get on and give high fives to the people that you love and give air hugs. <laughs> Thanks, Jill. Lots of air hugs. Go out in love because even if I'm um, – air hugging in fear, it's not effective because our emotions are energy. And even if we fake it, you know, you've been around those people where you can feel that it's not genuine because it's energy and we can feel it when we're open. So let's release our fear <sighs> on the spot right there that really needed a little extra. So I'm still in there. And this is a softball size ball. That usually works best because this is an indent in our body. Huh. And right side, we're releasing fear of others. So just let go of whoever you fear out there, or it could be situations, let go of your fear of viruses even. I know, seems like you should fear the virus, right? But you know what? <laughs> go to the other side when you're ready. If you aren't gripped up in fearing something, you attract it. Let go. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Go with the flow. Do the best that you can. Wash your hands. Social distance. No more hugging. I live like in a universe of hugging. That's all I do. And in Hawaii, I watch these. I'm on my left side and it's really tight. I watch these big um, Hawaiian men just kind of sort of run toward each other and give them give each other this big old hug. It's such a huggy place. And it's so weird not to hug right now. So I'm sure it is for all of you too. Just breathe in there and dig out on this left side. It's um, fear of yourself. And this might be where you're holding the fear of actually contracting the virus. And so you can go in there and really work and release and wonder about it all. Wonder about like, what is this time in What's really going on and what is the truth? Be in curiosity. So you can keep rolling if you want. I'm just going to sit up and really talk to you about this. Be in curiosity about, you know, as we look back in history, what is this time going to represent? What, what is this going to be talked about? How is this going to be talked about? 
And in my heart, I really hope that it's a time where we went from focusing on something, separation, <laughs> money, power, to coming back inside and focusing on loving ourselves and others. And hopefully this is the time of change because we really, really need it. <laughs> I know that I'm talking, I'm preaching to the choir, but if you are not getting on your mat every day with your ball and your body and your noodle ball, mine is here somewhere, and really working on coming out of fear and into love, you're going to show up in fear and you're going to spread more fear. So <laughs> let's not do that. Okay one more space that we need to talk about with wonderment and curiosity is this tight booty, right? So place the ball in your right butt cheek and start to roll around there. I like to take my right ankle on to my left knee as I roll. And as I go into these spots and I breathe deeply in and out, <sighs> there's a spot right there. You know, we want to show up having control in this time keep rolling if you're rolling with me but we don't have control it is a time of surrendering to what is best for ourselves first and then the community around us and then the whole world it is a time to surrender and give up what you may think that you um know that is right and let go into allowing yourself to be shown something new, something different, perhaps a new way of being. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's do this together. I know that we're not physically together right now, but we can do this kind of thing. We can get together oh, and roll on our balls and let go of trying to control the outer world, that's the right side. Oh, I got lots of knots there, man. And say ha. And you know, I get on this ball, not just once a day right now, several times in my butt cheek because I am gripping on and hear something and wish it was different. And then I have to get on my ball and surrender. It's the only way, it's the only way. <laughs> And at least we have tools, right? <laughs> and then get on to that oh, left butt cheek and roll around. This is controlling ourselves. It is a time to feel your feelings. And if you're in fear, the beautiful thing is that you have a tool to release it. How you release it is you feel it. You go in there with the ball and you feel and you breathe and you ha. And then you'll lighten up. When you have that tight, grippy butt cheek, I would just assume that you do in this time right now, get on your ball and roll. And be in wonderment and curiosity to it all. I mean, spend a moment in, with your gifts and talents, whatever they may be, and write about it, dance it out, um, create a poem. Oh my gosh, one of my, um, our ageless, Movers wrote this beautiful poem that I posted on the face on my Facebook ageless movement practices Facebook and um, Private Facebook page and it's so beautiful. It was so Touching like let's share our gifts and talents during this time with each other and be in curiosity and wonderment about how each of us can Connect with each other in that way instead of getting in fear and instead of trying to control. And if there is an elderly person next door, go knock and volunteer on their door and go volunteer to go to the grocery store. I love that, Marjorie, that's beautiful. Or, you know, if you can offer something to a child that's at home alone because their parents have to work and they aren't in school, go offer to, you know, help out, do some daycare, whatever you can do Let's do this thing together and let's turn this time into a time where we stopped pushing and forcing toward money and power and came back into love with wonderment and curiosity. Awesome. Now, I do want to say one thing. 
I have a free masterclass coming up starting tomorrow. I have two times, um, one time tomorrow and two times on Sunday and then Thursday the 19th. And I will put up um, the link so that you can um, come into that. But fear and control create lower back pain. And so I didn't plan on this all happening, but it's a really good time to focus on releasing fear and control so that you're not in pain during this time. Because too, when I'm in pain, when I go out to share with you or knock on my neighbor's door to help out, I'm not much help because I'm in pain. So let's do this together and love. Let's release our fear and control and work to be as healthy as we can be so that we can um, come out of this and maybe in a different energy place where we're going to support love more than fear. All right. Let's see if you have any questions or comments. Much Ho'oponopono. Oh, yeah. If you don't know Ho'oponopono, it is Hawaiian, but it's so good. And I start out, I love you to myself. <laughs> then I say thank you to myself. And then I say, I'm sorry to the universe, to whoever around me, that whatever I feel like I need to say, I'm sorry to, and then please forgive me. And then I end it with, I'm, I love you again. And it's, such a great practice, just those five little chants. I love you. <laughs> Please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And any variation of that works. <laughs> All right. Sarah, glad you're here. Jennifer, people here are doing food drives because children out of school means some don't have breakfast or lunch available to them. Oh, that's so awesome. Hey, Angel. Debbie Ryder, Angel, hi, sweetness, looking lovely and fearless. Oh, awesome. Aloha, Michelle, says Debbie. Michelle Andrew, do you have a link to that ball? I need something a little different than my two options I have. I do. I'll place a link in um, after I get off here. Uh, my right side is so much tighter. I know. I mean, it seems like it's all out there, right, Amanda? <laughs> And if only that could change, then everything would be okay. If only the virus would stay away from us. If only our government would do the right thing. If only they would stop hating everybody, right? But it's inside of us too. And let's pay attention to our insights first and release that tight butt cheek. All right. Oh, Lola. Hi, Lola. Oh, there she is. Let's see. I've been re, um, relying on ball in my butt cheeks lately. Yeah, it's um, me too. Very important. And in my practice this week, there's a lot of ball in the butt cheek and there's a lot of butt cheek opening and opening into wonderment and curiosity instead of closing down in fear. And so that's what I wish for you, my dear friends. Uh, I'm so... Mm, happy to be in this community of people that are willing to look at themselves and work on themselves and then take out a new truth into the world. And the truth that I um, hope to bring forward is let's step out of fear and into love. And more than ever, let's do this together. And I will add the links to my masterclass below after I get off of this live and also to the ball for you, Jennifer. And I just love you all. Thank you so much. And let's um, spread the love. <laughs>